So, if you remember from last time, this is my super cheap soldering iron. And as we discovered before, it claims it's ESD safe. However, if I get my meter and we try and test the continuity between the end of the iron and the plug, there's no connection. And that's all because inside they've not bothered connecting the earth pin through to the connector. This is the middle point of the iron. It should be connected here, but it isn't. So all we need is a short piece of wire, like so, and we just solder it between the two points. Easy peasy. Unfortunately, I have to use this. Okay, but once I've fixed this new one, I don't need to use this again. So let's attempt to attach this. It's going to be a little bit tricky. Mostly because there's a camera in the way. Okay, so that bit's on. And now we need to attach it here. I pre-tinned the wires to make it a bit easier. However, now I'm really seeing why I need a better soldering iron because this is having a real hard time getting the heat into this joint. It's just not powerful enough. There we go. Got the quality of that soldering. I could work in the factory that built these things. So there, let's put that there. Right. Turn this back on. So obviously that and that are connected, which means these are connected. So now if I put it all back together, it should all work. And conveniently, that piece of wire just wants to neatly go down there, out the way. And it looks good as new. Right, connect up the iron. Let's just have a quick test. So these two things should now be the same. So you go on there. Aha. Success. Right. Let's get set up and check I've not broken it. Three, two, one, contact. There we go. Right, there it goes heating up much, much quicker than the old one. Right, we'll unplug the old one. Don't need you. And today's fictitious temperature that it's been set to is 291. Okay, let's turn it up. I don't know. There. There looks good. Pile of solder. Let's have a go. Yep, it's working. So there you go. That's how you put back something that the factory should have added themselves. But clearly, ESD safe is just a nice little logo that they put on the front of things, along with these numbers and that very strange name. But there we go. It's an iron. And compared to this one, it's a much better iron.